Todd, I, what I love about your picks is these are not the conventional names. You point out industrials are up 75 percent since the election. So where should I turn? Give me some examples uh, if this all goes through. Sure. Hey, Kelly, thanks for having me. The, uh, the infrastructure bill is so wide reaching. It's fun to look in all the different sectors and industries. So, you know, let's start off in the EV battery plays. Um, you know, there's there's four billion earmarked currently from Republicans for EVs, 65 billion for broadband. So if we could touch about both of those. It'd be great. I think picking the winner of EVs will be tricky as so many uh, car companies are getting in and barrier to entry is very low. Uh, I do think Tesla ultimately will win for a variety of reasons. So we'll okay. talk about that. Um, you know, do you want to go there or do you want to go more in this specific infrastructure play names to start? We're showing the whole basket of your picks right now. So I kind of want to put it in context because you have Tesla. You also have Apple. You have Shift Group. You have TE Connectivity. People might be familiar with Albemarle. That's also in the EV battery space. Tell me about Shift uh, because that's an interesting one. Also, Apple might not be a name people conventionally think of. Sure. I mean, Apple is pretty simple, Kelly, just that they have right now, I believe, 20% of the 5G phone market, and that's expected to grow by 5x in the next five years. So it's unbelievable, you know, what the, the the future holds for Apple. I think the 5G market has a long way to go. Interesting article today in the Wall Street Journal about some of the issues that 5G is playing. It's taking longer to roll out than you expect. And I know you, if you have the phone, you have 5G for a while, and then you know, here in upstate New York, it goes away back to 4G. So yeah. we have a long way to go. A lot of infrastructure to build, but. Uh, the shift group is interesting. This is a this is a move towards commercial trucking. It's an amazing stock. It's a holding my portfolio within the commercial vehicle and truck uh, industry within industry within industrials. This name is actually the strongest on a monthly rotation model we watch going back to the uh, the back half of 2020, 2020. And that includes names like uh, Deer, Caterpillar, wow. Comes and Navistar. So this name is actually stronger. Not a lot of people talk about it. Uh, they just had a couple of recent acquisitions. And basically what they do is they make the transmissions for commercial vehicles, for, for commercial trucks that are going to be transporting uh, a lot of different materials. So from a technical point of view, it can break out above 39 and a half. Okay. I think it'll get back above those old highs and maybe get up to 50. And Albemarle, I know you're bullish on as well. And, and as I mentioned, that's in the EV battery space. Let me back up for a second, because as people digest some of these picks and, and why they would make sense as beneficiaries, what about some of the more traditional plays? We always hear about Martin Marietta. We always hear about Vulcan. We always hear even about Caterpillar and some of those names. Is it just that this is already priced into those stocks or do you have a different reason why you think they may or may not benefit? I mean, I, I think there's a long, I think they've been an underperformer, Kelly, for a long time. Again, looking at these rotation models uh, that we see, that these the more of a technical read, materials have been underperforming for a long, long period of time. So the outperformance we see is mean reversion on top of, you know, hopefully we're going to get this infrastructure play uh, to, to go through this bill to go through. And it'd be, it'd be amazing. You know, we're in, the infrastructure play is is walking alongside this new tech bull market that we're in that does include high speed broadband 5g and you know if you want to talk about tesla uh, i think tesla is a play i think people are not quite giving elon i think he's playing this one very tight to the best in terms of what he's doing with spacex he's launching i think he's got two or three thousand satellites in space these spacex satellites i think the fcc has permissioned him to have 30 or 40 thousand i don't know the exact number from my point of view, I think it's very clear what he's doing. If he can link up this global Internet high speed uh, coverage, I almost didn't make mm -hmm. the segment today because I lost my Internet coverage today. <laughs> um, if he can link that up in terms of seamless Internet connectivity, I think the autonomous driving game in terms of individual passenger cars as well as taxi service, whatever shape or form that that takes, it's game over. I think yeah. Tesla's going to win the EV model. And I don't think. He's saying that's not going to be the play, but I don't know how that does not how that's not in the back of his mind where he's going. You know, if I had to sort of bring this all together with the title, I'd say it's not your father's infrastructure package. I mean, what you've described is very much, you know, a 21st century, not a 20th century infrastructure build. And we'll see if that's what we get. Todd, thank you. Yeah. Good luck with the Internet. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.